Hi, my name is Zach, this is Harrison. Today we're talking about where to find the peripheral pulses in the lower limb. Now this is just a brief overview as to where to find the pulses. If you're after a full peripheral vascular exam, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. We'll assume for today that you've already washed your hands and consented the patient. There are four pulses to be aware of in the lower limb. The femoral, the popliteal, the posterior tibial and the dorsalis pedis. We'll start with the femoral. The key to finding the femoral pulse is finding the mid-inguinal point. As I'm sure you'll remember from anatomy class, this is located halfway between the asis, the anterior superior iliac spine, and the pubic symphysis, which is in the midline. The femoral pulse can be found several centimetres below this mid-inguinal point. Pro tip, to avoid awkward encounters, get good at finding this on yourself before you start poking around in other people's groins. Next is the popliteal, which is found behind the knee. To measure it, bend the knee to about 90 degrees, like so. Place both thumbs on the tibial tuberosity and feel behind the knee with your fingers. Next, the posterior tibial. This is located posterior to the medial malleolus, halfway between it and the heel. It's best felt with the foot slightly inverted. Finally, the dorsalis pedis. This is located halfway up the dorsum of the foot, just lateral to the tendon of the extensor hallucis longus muscle. This tendon can be identified by asking the patient to lift up their big toe. Once you've finished with the peripheral pulses, you can move on to the rest of the exam. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, uh, why not subscribe to our channel? You can do it by uh, clicking that button there. You can see some of the other videos in our series on clinical examination, uh, just below me, just down there. And uh, why not send us some helpful feedback? Till next time.